Hello and welcome back to another video. This video today is going to get a little bit emotional for me. I really wanted to sort of express how I've been feeling about YouTubing and creating a YouTube account and I mean one month I've been on YouTube now, a little bit over a month when I'm recording this because it's the 7th of February and I just really wanted to let all of you guys know how much your support has meant to me. So I apologise if I get a little bit sappy in this video, uh, it's completely unrelated to the build I'm doing, but I really wanted to take the time to express how I feel about everything you guys have done for this channel and the love and support you guys put out there. The community is fantastic and it really does mean the world to me to have you guys uh, support me the way you are. So I apologise for the sappiness of this video, but I hope that you guys enjoy it anyway. Uh, today's video is the <laughs> Ugly to Beautiful Challenge. Using this house I had previously made for this challenge, deliberately, uh, building this really ugly house. Uh, so my rules were that you could not shrink the size of a room or change the appearance of the house so much so that it did not look like the original house at all. But those were the only challenges, uh, those were the only rules I put on myself. So I tried to keep the house as much the same as possible while sort of working to make it look as pretty. So it was a really odd shaped house and that for me was going to be the tricky part. Was trying to get the roofing on, was trying to get it to look really, really nice. Uh, so I just thought I would really challenge myself with this challenge. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I thought, yeah, I did. I thought I would challenge myself to try and get the house to look as, well, as beautiful as I possibly could. Working with the odder shapes, in my opinion. I mean, I found roofing so hard for this house. So, um, I also wanted to use this time in this video to talk about sort of my YouTube channel. So I started, uploaded my first YouTube channel on the 1st of January. For me, uh, it would have been the 31st of December for you guys, you know, you guys who aren't here in New Zealand or Australia or in the same time zone as me. I cannot believe that I already have 49 subscribers in only a month. Um, that is incredible and the comments and the support and the likes and the views have honestly meant the world to me and it has made me so happy to be on YouTube and to be creating these videos and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the things I am putting up. I've also found this amazing community on Twitter with some of the most incredible YouTubers I've been watching The Sim Supply and Deligracy and other, you know, higher, not higher, but I guess more well-known YouTubers for a while. But recently I've just fallen in love with some of these YouTubers I found on YouTube and I just, I've completely stopped watching Deligracy and The Sim Supply's videos. I don't watch them, them the way I used to anymore, which is a little bit sad because I used to really love their videos, but I've just found this whole new world and I just love this community, community that I found on Twitter. So incredible. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter account name is Toasty Sim, one word. <coughs> Sorry. Um... It's an absolutely incredible community to be a part of. Everyone is so supportive with everything that happened with the YouTube changing its rules. Everyone banded together and it just felt so nice to be a part of that community. And everyone is so supportive of everyone else's work in the channel as well. So it's a really, really nice community to be a part of. I started YouTube because... Uh, me and my sister are the only two people who really love YouTube. I, uh, who really, really love Sims. I first played Sims for the first time when I was six years old at my friend's house and fell in love with it and then used to watch my cousin play Sims 
all the time. And I didn't own Sims then, and I was just thought that her buildings and her creating her people and watching her play was just the best thing in the entire world. And it's for me, I decided I wanted to I wanted to join this community and start my YouTube channel because I wanted to sh sort of pass on the joy I used to feel when I watched my cousin playing onto other simmers in the community. I absolutely loved watching my cousin play and I hope that you guys enjoy watching me sort of play the sims as well and enjoy the kind of the stuff I put out because I absolutely love putting this stuff up on YouTube for you guys to come and watch and for me it's really emotional and I just really love putting all this content together. I, me and my sister started uh, a sort of a, a let's play type style game together at the same time and I live in another city from her for university and she was like oh it's a real shame I'm not going to get to sort of see what happens with the awesomes and suddenly I thought well why don't I put create a YouTube account and then she can come and watch sort of what happens in my sims here on YouTube and that was what got me first started and creating YouTube videos was the excitement that even though me and my sister were so far apart we could like she could still see what I was up to in my Sims game. So this whole experience with YouTube has been so overwhelming for me. I'm so happy so many of you guys are enjoying my content and really it this means so much to me that you guys are coming along and watching my videos and liking them and actually enjoying them because that is all I ever wanted was for people to be interested in Sims and to want to watch me play Sims the same way I wanted to watch my cousin play Sims. So it's been so fantastic and so amazing to feel the love and support that you guys have sort of put out there. And in one month, I have 49 subscribers, which I cannot believe. I imagined I would have this many subscribers after a year of creating my account. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to me and who follows me on Twitter and to all the people who watch my videos. You guys, you guys are huge and you have no idea how much it means to me that you guys actually enjoy watching my content and seeing what I'm up to. So enough about that sappy stuff, we'll get back to the challenge. Um, so I decided that I wanted to turn this house very, very modern. And I've tried to keep the outer shape of the house as much as possible, as you guys can tell. I've changed, I added a back uh, porch and I extended the third story uh, to be a little bit larger and of course removed a wall uh, there to create a sort of indoor outdoor patio thing on the second floor. I decided I wanted to create a really really modern themed house idea. I It took a lot of work. This build was probably not one of the longest builds I've ever done. I have a build that I am yet to voice over that took me a really, really long time to put together. And I'm so proud of how it turned out. And I'm proud of how this house turned out as well. Because it does, for me, it looks exactly how I wanted it to look. It looks super modern, super fancy. I mean, it's going to have a spa pool upstairs. And here I am playing around with adding in some sort of wood layers into the house to give it some texture. So I'm going to start furnishing now. Furnishing was really, really difficult and I've never ever used these counters I'm using here before. I wasn't aware that they actually had little triangle corners. I thought that they were rounded, but it's the bar still ones that are rounded. These ones are more triangular, which I thought was something new to learn and I found it very different. I don't know if I like it. I I mean, I was going to try and be polite about it, but 
I don't know if I like it. I left it alone because I wanted to try something different with this house. Obviously, it's a challenge. And I thought, what's better than to add in some triangle corner and to try and make that work? I'd also find it really interesting to see if we can cook on those corner counters or if they're more aesthetic. Uh, more aesthetically pleasing, uh, I suppose is the right term. So the inside of and the furnishings were a lot quicker. I went minimalistic in my furnishings. Tried to keep it quite simple, quite empty, quite plain. A lot of open plan spaces, which is not the most common for me. I'm definitely the kind of person who enjoys a smaller house. Uh, I'm actually really like tiny, tiny houses. I've been thinking about doing the tiny house challenge where you create smaller and smaller houses. I've been considering doing it, but I mean, I've seen so many people do it and their work is just amazing. And I'm like, oh, I mean, so many people have done it already. Do I sort of want to put my own spin on it and take on it? And I've got a lot of projects at the moment that I've been thinking about doing but I've got a lot of stuff um private on YouTube that I still haven't put up so I'm way behind in videos which isn't necessarily a, a bad thing I go back to uni soon in 19 days and is it 19 days yeah I go back to uni in 19 days and slowly I will get more and more busy and a store of videos on YouTube will come in handy of course, I will write in the description down below when my stuff is pre-recorded. And I actually will get into the habit of letting you guys know when I recorded the videos, especially if I'm talking about, I suppose, as I just talked about how I've been on, on YouTube for a month, it would be a good example of sort of a video where uh, a date might be nice, or rather than if I put this up in, you know, June. And you guys are really super confused because I would have been on, on YouTube a lot longer than that. Um, I want to celebrate when I get, um, I'm going to be celebrating when I get to two months on YouTube. If there's anything you guys would like me to sort of do for uh, my celebration, uh, it's my two months on YouTube, then I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments down below or to private message me on Twitter. I really like, I really want to celebrate sort of the commitment I've made to YouTube and how much I've been enjoying it. And I think a, a nice celebration of some sort would be really, really fun and, you know, really celebrate me going out there and doing something I talked about doing for so long, but never, ever done. I spoke so long about creating this YouTube account and doing it. And all it really took was one day I just made a YouTube video and I loved it. And it's been tough. When I first decided that I wanted to create my YouTube account, I was living at home uh, over my summer break due between semesters for uni. And I have a lot of siblings and a lot of animals and the house was quite small. And so uh, being able to find time to record videos and not have sort of as much of the background noise as there could be coming through was really difficult for me and then I moved back to my city which is Dunedin in New Zealand and found that we didn't have internet and we didn't have internet for about two and a half weeks and so I was going into uni to upload my videos so recording and creating the videos were easy but putting them up online was really hard and that's sort of where the store of videos came from. I made, that's why my starter home collection came about. I needed shorter videos to be uploading on YouTube so that they didn't take a really long time. But I ended up loving my starter home collection and will be renovating, once I'm finished the starter home collection, I will be renovating the starter homes again uh, with unlimited amount of furniture instead of it being the starter home price it will be much more expensive and I'm really really looking forward to sort of renovating some of the houses and um, I guess by the time this video comes out I could have already started my renovating pro project if I have I really hope you're enjoying the renovations that I've been doing 
And if you guys have renovated my places, please, hashtag Toasty Simmer. I would love to see them on the gallery. Don't hesitate to let me know, see what you guys have created and done with the houses I put up there. Because I would love to see what you guys did with the places. Um, we're coming up to the end of the video now. And I just want to, again, uh, say thank you. You have no idea how much it means to me to have the support that I have from you guys. And I just really want to make sure you guys know how much it really means to me to have other people enjoying my work. And that I just never expected us to sort of get the number of subscribers I got as quickly as I got them. And I never expected to be sort of getting comments already on my YouTube videos only a month into creating them. So again, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support that you guys have given me. And I hope that you guys are enjoying my video. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye!